everyone. I thought I'd make a short video about using a DIY autofocuser with the astrophotography tool, so I hope it's useful. There are loads of commercial ones out there, but I thought that I might be able to do it a little bit more cheaply. The design I liked most was the one produced by Robert Brown in New Zealand. Uh, he provides loads of information, documentation, videos to support the build and the testing and also some software available to test out the unit and make sure it's all working correctly. There are loads of features as well and loads of options and I thought that that would be an excellent way forward. I'd already got an autofocuser from Skywatcher uh, but what I'm finding with that is that while it works very well, it does take time and there's still a difficulty in getting to an accurate focus for imaging. And looking at the design more closely, it was clear that the brackets that come with the Skywatcher autofocuser would save me a lot of time because I could use those to mount the stepper motor. Mounting the stepper motor was very easy because all I needed to do was to produce a couple of flat plates and bolt them into place. That along with the flexible connector and a D plug that was able to screw the, through the back of onto the plate and the whole assembly is rigid and can take a connection very easily. To set the initial position, I simply wind the focuser fully in to the, till it stops, and that's a good zero position from which to start. It is possible to set the zero position from a software point of view inside the astrophotography tool, but Robert has produced some Windows software that makes the job very easy, and it also allows me to test out all the parts of the focus, focuser before uh, doing an imaging session. Now we've got the focuser in the initial position, I do a count of 500 steps out and that provides me with a good baseline for starting to use autofocusing within the astrophotography tool. At this stage I'd normally have connected the mount, the imaging camera and my planetarium software ready for star alignment. So here I'm connecting the focuser which brings up the ASCOM selector. You set, select the appropriate driver from the list and connect to the correct USB port. But as I'm normally using the same port for each session, the focuser would normally connect automatically without showing this box. Focuser connected. I then move the focuser out from the home position to one of the preset values. There are three of these presets which you can use for different combinations of camera or lens or barlow. And in the video I've purposely set that position a little short of the tree focus that I normally would use to show the focusing process a little more clearly. Right, we're ready. I've pointed the telescope using my Telrad towards Betelgeuse in Orion as the seeing is so bad that only the bright stars are really visible. This isn't a night for imaging really. You can see the focus changing as I press the manual focusing buttons, which I do to get as close to pos as possible to the final focus.
you can get to a pretty good focus position just using the manual controls. Using the APT Focusing Assistant, I put the star in the measurement window and this can be used on its own for manual focusing if you require, but I would normally run the auto-focusing routine as well and let the software do its job. There are two measurement types available and I might repeat the routine or switch between them a couple of times to ensure that I'm getting the lowest possible reading. I'll let the full routine run through so you can see how long it normally takes. Auto focusing finished. You may notice that the reading I achieved from auto focusing was slightly higher than the one that I got when I manually focused. That's mainly due to the deterioration in the seeing that was happening while I was doing the filming. Well, that's the basic process that's uh, involved, and I'd like to thank Robert Brown for producing the software and the hardware. It's been a great project to do. Um, thank you for listening.